All right, Johnny, Bound for Glory this Sunday in New York City. First question for you. Uh, what will make your Impact World Championship match against Austin Aries this coming Sunday different than your Bound for Glory main event last year against Eli Drake? Well, let's see. First and foremost, hopefully I come out with the W <laughs> and take the Impact World Championship back to Slam Town. Um, but with the more nuance, Eli Drake and Austin Aries are different people. Um, I respect you, I Drake, more than I respect Austin Aries in some ways. Um, Austin Aries is a fierce competitor. He'll do whatever it takes to win the title. But um, he's crossed a couple lines with me personally that uh, I didn't expect. And um, now I, I feel more motivated than I have in a long time to want to get into a ring and beat the crap out of somebody. Um, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about or not. I'm, I'm guessing you do. We're doing this interview. Of course, of course. And I mean, now, like I said, you went for the World Championship last year. You're going for the World Championship again this year. Two different opponents, Eli Drake, Austin Aries. Do you feel like you're more ready this time around for your Impact World Championship opportunity than you were even a year ago? Yeah. That's, that's one, one thing that I've been uh, happy with with the with my wrestling career and um, I think what I was surprised about is a lot of people feel like at some point like um, you are your, your passion prime or whatever but for me in pro wrestling like that hasn't happened for me yet I don't feel like it I feel like I'm still improving physically mentally emotionally in every every category in pro wrestling so for me every year that goes by it's you know that I've improved and I feel like this, this year I've Make major strides in all those areas. So, with regards to like, am I more ready this year? Yeah. And how about Impact Wrestling on the whole? I mean, it's a completely different company now than it was in even, even a year ago. And the hype around Bound for Glory this year in New York City, or you know, compared to last year, seems to be completely night and day. So, your thoughts on the evolution of Impact Wrestling with yourself and Austin Aries and all these other great stars at the helm? I mean, Impact really has evolved into a company full of. <laughs> young, hungry lions, so to speak, in the wrestling business. Cage, Phoenix, Pentagon, Matt Tidal, Trevor Lee, um, the, uh, like, everybody, everybody at the company now, I mean, Sandy Callahan, for example, has a bit of a chip on their shoulder, something to prove. I feel the same way. Um, Austin Aries, <laughs> Austin Aries, I've heard him say in an interview before that, uh, he'll stand on his chip and he'll make him the same height as whoever he's talking to. He's had a big chip on his shoulder for a long time. And um, that common bond is, to me, what makes Impact Wrestling interesting to watch, interesting to be a part of, but also, if you're going to be a part of something, whether you're, you're swimming with sharks, you better be damn sure that you are also a shark, because the roster right now is unforgiving. People are competing to prove who's the best, and... Um, can't afford to have an off night with Impact right now. And since arriving at Impact a little over a year ago, like I said, you mixed it up with Eli Drake, Congo Kong, even Austin Aries once before for the Impact World Championship just a few months ago. Um, would you call Aries your favorite feud to date in Impact? Seeing as how, like, even last week on Impact TV, you guys really brought the best out of each other in that verbal exchange. Uh, would you agree with that? Um, I mean, favorite feud almost seems like a bit of an oxymoron. <laughs> True, that's a good point. Um, I, I, I feel like the stuff that I'm going to do on Sunday is uh, going to be interesting and different than a lot of the stuff that I've, that I've done in the past, but with impact just in general in my career. Um, with regard to a lot of the things that Austin said in the ring, um, I'm not sure 100% like what he was trying to accomplish um, by saying it. I do a lot of things, Jack of all trades, master of none. I mean, he's also written a book about being a vegan. He's doing a lot of stuff too. And um, I don't think that really tips the uh, balance either way with regard to who's going to win it down for glory. I, I think Austin is, uh, is insecure with, with his place in, in the business and in that wrestling. He wants to be the man and he wants to prove to himself and everybody that he's the man so much that sometimes he 
talks in circles and flings poop at people and buries himself. Um, unfortunately for him, what he's done is uh, piss me off <laughs> and, and motivate me to, to want to be the crap out of it at uh, Bound for Glory. And if I take a step back and I look at that like a, in almost a meta sense, which is why I think your, your question was referring to, like, this is my favorite feud. Um, if I'm not talking about how I feel about what he said about my wife, if I'm talking about just like someone who's watching outside of myself that's not experiencing what I'm experiencing and feeling what I'm feeling, sure, this is interesting. But from um, from what I said now, like, I, favorite is a, is a hard word to use. And at the same time, you mentioned just earlier, too, you've been a part of many different projects, including Survivor, Boone the Bounty Hunter, and all these different movies and TV shows and stuff like that. Um, do you think taking part in these other projects outside of wrestling have really enhanced your skills inside the ring and beyond? Yeah, absolutely. I think, in, in, um, I mean, there's, there's, there's more to, there's more to life than wrestling, there's more to, there's more to fighting, there's more to competing than, um, what you can learn in any one promotion at any one time. So, to me, the more people experience outside of a certain promotion, um, oftentimes that opens up little spaces in the back of people's minds and adds tricks to people's bags that they can pull out and use. And that that is how I feel about it. But if I'm if I'm training MMA or Jiu Jitsu for a uh, for a movie, or if I'm training parkour and I'm um, putting choreo together for Blue the Bounty Hunter, a lot of the stuff that I'm learning and working on is isn't anything that I might have done in the world of pro wrestling, but everything is applicable. It's one of the cool things about wrestling. Wrestling is such a blend of all these different sets of movements and skills, and pretty much anything you think it's cool in pop culture that the more you dabble with, if you're intelligent and purposeful about what you do and what you choose to do in, in the ring, um, a lot of that stuff ends up being helpful. And also on the card this Sunday, your wife, Ty Valkyrie, you mentioned her earlier. She's going for the Impact Knockouts Championship against Tessa Blanchard, which is also another highly anticipated matchup on the card. Uh, do you think it'd be a cool moment for you guys to both win gold on the same show and kind of have that be one of the more... Um, I don't want to say memorable, like one of the more feel-good moments of your career up to this point, not only in Impact, but just in your wrestling career in general. Both of you guys win gold on Sunday. <laughs> well, that's, a, that's an easy question. Um, <laughs> yes, yeah, that, that would feel great. It would be the first time in wrestling history that that's happened, that two newlyweds have won championships for the first time um, on the same night. And, uh, yeah, I, I'm really excited about uh, Ty's opportunity to take the knockouts Championship from Tessa. Um, she's been she's been training twice a day. She's been killing at the gym. She's been thinking about this and preparing for this for a long time. Um, she's been talking about it on all of her social platforms. Tessa also is uh, no joke. She's no slouch. She knows what she's doing. She's checked for a reason, which is why I think this is going to be a good match. In other matches on the card, there's a few other matches. We have OVE versus the Lucha Brothers and Brian Cage, LAX versus the OGs. Aside from, of course, your match, I was going to say your other favorite matches on the card, obviously the, the, the answer would be your wife's matchup. But beyond that, any other matches that you were extremely excited to see on Sunday? Um, man, <laughs> Lucha Brothers and Cage versus OVE is uh, exciting to me just because there's so many intangibles and so many things that like Phoenix and Cage and Pentagon mm -hmm. <laughs> that combo is like a, such a such a crazy combo it's like they're so different and so similar it's uh, really interesting to me OVE has also showed time and time again that they always deliver when they're in uh, a money match type situation you know it, uh, I mean I, I, could, I could say the same thing about most of the, the, the card of Alpha Glory, um, LAX from two guys that I didn't really know much about before I got to Impact yet. So now I've, I've grown into two of my favorite like uh, people in general, but also just wrestlers to watch because they're always interesting. They always 
have a, a, a real cool chemistry between them and intangible like, charisma that's fun to watch. But the talented guy, too, man, like this, this Bound for Glory card, like, like you said at the beginning of this interview, um, has really turned into something special, and it's, it's cool to be a part of it. And final question for you, assuming you do win the championship on Sunday, let's just say you're going to win the championship on Sunday. Johnny Impact, new Impact World Champion. Uh, who do you want to face going forward? You've taken on Eli Drake, taken on Congo Khan, now Austin Aries. Who else is there left in Impact for you to take on? The, the whole roster is, is so talented. But, um, I mean, it's uh, sometimes it's a kiss of death to look ahead. So um, I don't even want to throw a name out there. <laughs> because cause, cause really, like, if, if I... If I become champion of Alpha Glory, um, I mean, I don't know if Austin Aries is going to just walk away. He might, uh, he might want another shot if I want to rematch mm-hmm. to a cross or lose, but I have something to say about it. Um, man, like I've been a, a big fan of Eddie Edwards for a long time, but I mean, we're, we're both cool and both friends, but him and Kenny might uh, want a shot at the Impact World Championship too. I don't know. It's a... Uh, but, but like I said, it's a, sometimes it's a kiss of death to look ahead because right now I'm just focused on, on Sunday. Because Sunday for me really is a make or break moment in, uh, in my impact wrestling career. And um, say whatever you want about Austin Aries, but um, he always delivers in these types of situations. He's champ for a reason. And um, I believe I'm going to take the championship from him, but it's not going to be easy. Well, it should be a great match as well as a great show. Johnny, thanks for your time. Best of luck on Sunday, my man. All right, thank you.